हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट कंजर्वेशन ऑफ एनर्जी एंड वर्क एनर्जी थ्योरम कंजर्वेशन मींस कॉन्स्टेंटनेस मींस इफ अ डायनामिकल सिस्टम मूव फ्रॉम वन पॉइंट टू अदर पॉइंट देन इट्स टोटल एनर्जी रिमेन कॉन्स्टेंट और वी कैन से इट एज टोटल एनर्जी is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy this is the law of conservation of energy now we can define the work done by an external force Suppose uh, an object of mass m is displaced from a point one to point two through some external force then we can find the work done in this process and you know that the work done will be w12 is equal to 1 to 2 f dot dr here f is external force and dr is displacement and 1 and 2 uh, it is uh, these are representing the displacement of the object from point 1 to point 2. Now we will discuss the uh, kinetic energy and work energy theorem from the newton's second law you know that f is equal to db over dt here f is applied force and p is linear momentum you can also write linear momentum as equal to mv if here m is your constant then you can write it as m dv over dt first we will uh, write the work done in terms of the kinetic energy let us start from f dot dr you know that f is equal to m dv over dt dot dr you can write it as m dv over dt dot dr over dt into dt your expression becomes f dot dr is equal to m dv over dt dot v dt as you know that dr over dt is equal to v right so we can write it as also m d over dt 1 by 2 v dot v d 
dt how we can write it as uh, we have put the value of dv here dv over dt dot v is equal to d over dt 1 by 2 v dot v if we find the value of d over dt v dot v you know that it is equal to first as it is the differentiation of second plus second as it is the differentiation of first so it becomes twice v dot dv over dt so if we find the value of v dot dv over dt then it comes out to be 1 by 2 d over dt v dot v so we can write it as d over dt 1 by 2 v dot v right so uh, it becomes as m d over dt v dot v you know that it is equal to v square so 1 by 2 v square dt here m is constant so we can write it as d over dt 1 by 2 m v square dt now if we find the work done when a point move from one when a mass if we find work done uh, when a mass m move from point one to point two you know that it is it was you know that it was equal to one by one to two f dot dr so if we put the value of f dot dr here then you will find 1 to 2 d over dt 1 by 2 m v square dt or you can write it as 1 to 2 d 1 by 2 m v square or it, it becomes as 1 by 2 m v2 square minus 1 by 2 m v1 square finally your w12 becomes 1 by 2 m v2 square it is uh, the final kinetic energy so we can write it as t2 1 minus 1 by 2 m v1 square it is your initial kinetic energy of the dynamical system so here w12 is equal to 1 to 2 f dot dr is equal to t2 minus t1 this is known as the work energy theorem Now we will define the conservative force and potential energy. You know that uh, if a mass is displaced through an external force from point 1 to point 2 now we will define the conservative force and potential energy you know that if an object is displaced from point 1 to point 2 through different paths 
and if the work done for different paths is same then that force is called as the conservative force suppose uh, an object here is uh, displaced from point 1 to point 2 through a path P and let us uh, suppose the other path is Q here the object is displaced from point 1 to point 2 through the path Q after applying an external force the work done for the two paths are same then that force is called as the conservative force so here we can write the work done <coughs> on the object uh, displacing it from point 1 to point 2 through two different paths one is P and the other is Q so W12 here we can write as 1 to 2 P F dot dr here P represent the path and it is you know that if uh, f is your conservative force then it will also be equal to 1 to 2 f dot dr we can write it as p 1 to 2 f dot dr minus q 1 to 2 f dot dr equal to 0 or we can write it as w12 is equal to p 1 to 2 f dot dr if we change the limit you know that it becomes a plus so 2 to 1 f dot dr and this becomes equal to 0 so finally we can write it as uh, like that w1 2 is equal to it becomes a closed loop so we can write it as f dot dr equal to means if uh, here the work done is equal to 0 now from the Stokes law uh, you know that in the line integral f dot dr is equal to you can write it as surface integral curl f dot ds here because the closed loop encloses some surface so uh, in this case it cannot be zero for a closed loop so from the above relation we can write curl f is equal to zero or we can write del cross f is equal to 0 here del is a dlm word operator and it is equal to i del over del x plus j del over del y plus k del over del z i j k are the unit vectors along x y z axis respectively del over del x del over del y del over del z are partial derivatives along x y z axis now when curl f is equal to 0 this uh, means that the force is conservative so for a conservative force we can write it in terms of the potential energy and it can be written as minus del v 
here v is the potential energy and it is a function of position coordinates only so here you can write w1 2 is equal to it is equal to 1 to 2 f dot dr and it is equal to 1 to 2 f was equal to minus del v dot dr so we can write it as minus 1 to 2 dv or it becomes v1 minus v2 so now you have two results first was w12 is equal to t2 minus t1 and the next is in terms of the potential energy this was in terms of the kinetic energy now we can write our work done in terms of the potential energy also so here w12 is equal to t2 minus t1 equal to v1 minus v2 or we can write it as t1 plus v1 is equal to t2 plus v2 here w12 is the it is total work done by moving an object from point 1 to point 2 so it is we can write it as the total energy so total energy here of the system you see remain constant and we can write it as e is equal to p plus v p is here kinetic energy v is here potential energy and e is here total energy e is here total energy t is kinetic energy and v is here potential energy. Thank you.